One of the commonest questions which patients have about IVF treatment is the risk involved. They're very scared that all the hormones they take will make them fat or cause ovarian cancer or breast cancer because they're growing so many eggs and have such high estrogen levels during the IVF cycle or that they'll become menopausal and they'll run out of eggs because we're growing so many eggs at one time. And this is something I need to put in perspective because the reality is that IVF is very safe both for the mother and for the baby. And the reason is simple. Whenever we super ovulate a patient, when we give you these hormones, for one thing, remember these are natural hormones. These are the same hormones your body normally produces during an ovulatory cycle. So it will get excreted from the body the moment the cycle is over. Won't hang around, won't cause any long-term mischief. As regards the number of eggs which you're growing in that cycle, remember that every month you produce 40 follicles of which 39 die or undergo atresia and only one grows, becomes dominant, matures and ovulates. Which is why humans have one baby at a time because only one egg matures and ovulates every time. Unlike rabbits who have lots of eggs because lots of their eggs mature in one cycle. When we're giving you these hormonal injections, we're saving the eggs which would otherwise have died anyway. Even if you hadn't done the IVF cycle, 39 follicles are going to die every single month, which is why women become menopausal, whether they do IVF or they don't. So with IVF, we're only saving those eggs which were destined to die anyway. And this is the reason why IVF is extremely safe, will not affect your future health or your future menstrual cycles or your future ovarian reserve. So there's absolutely no reason for you to worry. Have more doubts and questions because I understand there's a lot of misinformation out there. Please feel free to talk to me. I'm Dr. Malpani at Malpani Infertility Clinic. Our website is www.drmalpani.com and I'm happy to offer a free second opinion. Thank you.